I woke up in the middle of the night once and found Ensign Betty tinkering with some machine. You're just saying that to take a shot at the FC, aren't you? Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Ryujin Industries help you get there. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology Calf out there, buddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the Disciples get you. Hey, it's your ass not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside Strikers were awful. With all the muggings and shakedowns, but... Now that they're on the ropes... <sighs> Kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvage's. They're always holding auditions, as they call it. Looking for new blood. So, for being so helpful, chance for a donation. Come on, might be saving my life. What with the disciples and all. I have a heart. Can't blame a fellow for trying, right? Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? You looking to get zoned? Yeah? Well, if I had a credit for every time I heard that line, I wouldn't be stuck working in this place. So, I'm guessing you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. And I'm getting tired of the fleet not taking me seriously. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. I've dealt with Bayou in the past. He's got a clear set of gold, I'll give you that. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm going to make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're going to have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Love the confidence, but before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. While you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Well, well, look at you. You're smarter than I thought. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks. 
and I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brace and Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. And I suppose you're gonna head down to Jennerdine and kick down the door? Wow, it's so simple. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Jennerdine's got their place locked down tight. But as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper level exec at Jennerdine. Get your hands on her security pass and you'll have the run of the place. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorico. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, she's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Don't let Komiko push you around. She isn't as tough as she seems. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> oh! Yeah, what? Is this important? I'm really busy right now. Let me save you some time. If you're here for a job, we're not hiring. If you're here about the conduction grid tour, we shut it down a year ago. Well, like I said, it shut down. Had to cut the entire tour staff too. Look, I'm sorry if I'm blowing up at you, but I've got a ton of problems and no time to deal with them all. I'm afraid that things aren't going terribly well around here. I don't care if I'm allowed to or not. I'm happy to get this off my chest. The conduction grid went online almost 75 years ago. And since then, we haven't developed a single groundbreaking innovation. At this point, the money we're taking in as a power utility barely covers the waste that's going on in the research and development division. You'd think that, right? The problem is that Brayson Bayou, Administrator Bayou's brother, is currently heading up the R&D division. I swear to you, the man doesn't know the first thing about power systems or electromagnetic technology. None whatsoever. Look, I'm running out of options. No one above me seems to care what's going on, but I'm willing to take a chance. I have a full report on Brayson that I want to send to Administrator Bayou, but I don't know if he can be trusted. What do you think I should do? You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't allow Brayson to run this company into the ground. Hey, look, uh, thanks for helping me out with this. It's been on my mind for a long time. If there's anything else you need, any questions at all, Feel free to ask. As long as it doesn't get me into serious trouble, ask away. Whoa. Okay, that's crossing the line. I can't discuss company matters like this. I hear you. Oh, is this really what we're doing? Maybe... need to think about it. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, listen. You didn't hear this from me, but I know she's up to something with Benjamin Bayou. 
He was in her office a few weeks ago, and they had some kind of shouting match. It got really heated until Bayou stormed out the door. I don't know what it was about, but I happen to know Miss Komiko keeps audio recordings of all her meetings in her safe. And before you ask, yes, I'll unlock it for you. Just don't tell anyone I helped, okay? Hope to see you again soon. Whoa, 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 what? My mother wanted me to be a doctor. The OBEG ATMs are spread throughout the settled systems. Each of our baristas undergoes enhanced training. To ensure you Speak with me only if you have what it takes to do track. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our members lounge, where you can enjoy your Aurora experience in peace. See, you just proved my point. Down your third velocity, and you're out. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Yeah, I guess you're right. Where the hell did Micah learn to mix a drink like that, anyway? <laughs> no way. Well, You're going to have to try better than that. Gifted. You debt collectors are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. It's nothing personal, friend. The... the Crimson Fleet? Oh my, I, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge interferes with your comfort. You're always welcome here. What's up? Yeah. What do you want? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Do you have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, Money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, you do. 
short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Syoga buddies here. You don't pay, you don't get the pass. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you, though. Once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Remember, we never talked. Got it? Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. If you require any... Can't you see I'm busy, Estelle? Aurora to enhance what your you experience? Want? I've decided to accept your offer. Let's make sure this is absolutely Think clear. Easy. I don't want Websites any... Websites changed. I'll provide a shipment ID. The equipment description and schematic. Return, I disabled the freighter, transfer the goods, and then transport it the rest of the way for but final I don't sell. sale. That's a control. You got it. <laughs> Too bad your friends back at the key don't know you're cutting them out of the deal. I wonder what they'd say if they found out. Probably the same thing your boss and the big Well, we don't have to worry about that because neither of them will ever find out. Right? That's right, Tuts. Let's just enjoy the credits and keep our big mouths shut, huh? After all, it's just good business. Sorry, I was lost in the... Here? Gotcha.
Now that you've been here for a while, what do you think of bracing? Laboratory results, Project GRT-089A. Technician Oyama reporting. The emissive current beaming system is not performing, as per Chief Technician Bayu's parameters. His vision that a massively high voltage current can be projected through the air has proven to be impossible. Though such systems have existed in the past, the amount of power required to transfer energy from the conduction grid into our storage is prohibitively expensive. The chief technician has had us work for three straight weeks on an emission array, and I can conclude without a doubt that it's completely impractical. him about the overrun on costs of the project, he said, and I quote, don't 
Don't worry about it. I know what I am doing.
Station Shibata. Currently posted to Genadai's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Beiyu. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. I've spoken to Brayson at length, and I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name, and that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment, and asked to do the impossible. It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive.
you. I was wondering how long it would take you to get down here. If you want the encryption cipher, you're welcome to it. I just don't want anyone getting hurt. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher, it it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Yeah, that would be nice. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Feels good to be in control for a change. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. Murder. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way. But for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. 
All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. Brayson. Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. Careful around here. I think I got them. What do you call them? Velocity yet? It'll change your life. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash and I have no way to pay it all back. <laughs> That's exactly what I had in mind. I guess you aren't such a rook after all. How much, uh, are you willing to part with? Wow, that's way more than I expected. I had no idea you'd be so generous. All right, I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey, you won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. Just watch your ass. Benny isn't exactly going to be tickled that you've been talking to his brother. Pour me a velocity, Domi. I think we're in luck. Estelle, you found a buyer. I did less than a week. Hey. I'm impressed. They don't have places like There's this. There's just one teeny little catch, though. Whenever there's a catch with you, it ends up costing me money. Before you give me the guillotine, hear me out. And there it is. Do you have any idea what it will cost to get that many crates out of Zeno Fresh by tomorrow?
What if I told you they wanted 15 cases this time? I had full price. Hmm. What about your comrade at the Crimson Feet? Won't they want a taste? I'd hate to lose half of our profit. You just worry about the shipment. I'll handle the fleet. All right, instead. You have a deal. Here's your drink. You're a doll, dummy. Cheers. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Go! 